You guys have been really solid this year at stopping the run. Um, did you guys know in the, in the preseason that this, this was this kind of run stuffing unit, or is that kind of developed throughout the year? Uh, you know, that's, that's something we start on during the off season, you know, stopping that run up front. You know, we do a lot of striking, you know, preparing for the run, uh, gap, gap control. Uh, I mean, it goes from all the way back from, you know, spring. You know, that's something that we that what we started and work on all through the spring and fall camp. Charlie. Hey, Phil, with Saturday being senior day, is that kind of a surreal moment for you? Just, you know, what are you thinking going into your last game at Brian Denny? Uh, I mean, I have a lot of fun, uh, enjoy it, you know, and make a lot of memories for my last ride there. Uh, and I can't wait, you know, just to have fun. And, Enjoy it. Michael. Do you feel, do you see teams scheming in a different way, blocking to try to stop Will Anderson? Uh, do you see anything up front that changes with him? Uh, I mean, I don't know what they can do to, you know, I mean, they, they game plan, that's their game plan. I don't know what they got, you know, planned up for Will, but uh, I believe in Will and I think he handled everything that's come his way uh, the right way, so. I guess. Mike. Just playing off Charlie's question there about senior day, do you ever kind of look around this year and say, where did everybody go from the class that I, I came in with uh, back in, in 2017? I think there's only a couple guys left that are still here. Yeah, I think about it just be like, dang, I've been here a while. <laughs> I be like, dang, I just been, it's been a long time coming. Uh, it's going to be pretty sad, I think, when, when the game over, but uh, I'm, re I'm ready. Uh, it's been it's been a long time, man, and I, I'm I'm just ready, ready to get it over with, I guess. John. Yeah, um, there's been so much hype on the offense the last couple of years with just putting up crazy numbers. You guys last year, LSU year four and others, but now you guys have a top five defense, so you're winning both ways again. And not that you didn't last year, but how much pride do y'all take in kind of? Playing such a big role, coming up with stops against LSU, putting up such so good defensive numbers. I think we, as a defense, you know, we we always preach, you know, getting back to the Bama standard, um, and that's that's a lot of things Coach Pete always talk about, you know, getting back to that Bama standard. The Bama defense, you know, as everybody know how the defense used to be, uh, and that's what that was our main goal for the off season. You know, living up to the standard that uh, Alabama defense always been a capable of. Nick. Dallas Turner has been a guy who's obviously stepped in the lineup for, for Drew and uh, been there ever since. I mean, how have you seen uh, Dallas progress um, from the moment he, he got that first start to now? I think he's come a long way. Um, you can tell that he's got more confidence um, from his first game all the way to now. Uh, he's grown a lot. Uh, He's been, he stepped up when we needed him to step up as a young guy. And I mean, that's, that's all you can ask of him, you know, keep, keep doing what he's doing and, you know, just, and that helped, you know, him, him become a, a leader for, you know, the years he have coming beyond him. Michael. You said that the goal was to return to that Bama standard to where it was uh, defensively. Where do you think you guys are within achieving that goal or have you achieved that goal? I feel like you know we it's always somewhere to improve on. Uh, we're not there yet, um, but as as we go on, I think we we get better every every game and every week. You know we go we go out and handle our business by you know just counseling all the mental areas. You know everybody buying in. You know everybody doing their job, and just everybody sticking together. Final three: Charlie, Stephen, and then we'll end with Joseph. Go ahead, Charlie. Yeah, last week, DJ Dale said every team needs a, a Phil Mathis. Just for you from a leadership standpoint and, and kind of providing the, the energy for the team, how important is that for you to, to do that for your teammates? Uh, it's very important. You know, it's important for myself and also for my, um, my, my, my brothers because, you know, sometimes guys come out, you know, they don't have the right mindset. They don't feel like, you know, going to work. Um, and I think every team does need a guy like me to, pick somebody up and, you know, always be there when they when they need somebody to lean on. You know, when things not going right, uh, I can talk to them, you know, make them laugh or just, you know, uplift their day. Steven. 
you know, Phil, Jane and Armour Davis have to kind of wait this time in the defensive backfield, but he's got three interceptions this year. Just what does he bring in practice on the field that you love about him? Uh, man, I love Jalen, though. You know, uh, I feel like he got a chip on his shoulder, you know, being patient. Uh, he's, he's been a very patient guy. You can tell that he, he's, he's hungry. You know, he, he also got a daughter like me. And you can tell that he really want it, want it. And uh, I love the energy that he bring. You know, he he's a he don't really talk much, but you can tell that, you know, he's a very humble guy and he, he wants to work and he got some somebody to feed. Final question, Joseph. Yeah, hey Phil, I was gonna ask you to be a little introspective here going into your final home game as a senior. What have you learned about yourself during your time at Alabama? Uh, since I've been in Alabama, I learned that, you know, I'm a very patient guy. Uh, I have grown as a man, you know, became a great leader for my um, peers, you know, for my brothers. And the most thing I really just say being patient, you know, waiting on your time to come and, you know, not, not you know, going crazy about not playing and stuff like that. Just be patient, you know, trust the process and just wait till your time come and everything will play out how it's supposed to play out. You know, just gotta be patient. That's the biggest thing I learned, being patient.